got to this point and now you feel you know will you respond a little bit differently or does this add even more pressure because you're further in the playoffs how, how do you view that double-edged sword right um i think kind of playing with house money um all, all of us on the 23 team and the 45 have the mentality that we know we can if we do what it takes to do to make it to the final four we all know we can do it so um but you know at this point uh, in the season and in my career it's it's uh it's been it's been really really good really really good year kind of called it a little bit at the start of the year having a career year and still moving forward still wondering where the win is at trying to figure that out but uh all in all it's just been a really solid six seven months um of, of learning and growing and, and appreciating where you're at in sport and you know looking at things differently from from the physical side of things the mental side of things and just a different outlook on on, on racing and on life no wins and no playoff points this year. So how how do you get in? To, I mean, how do you make it to the final four? That those numbers don't necessarily yeah, you indicate gotta, it. You gotta work your tail off. Um, it always seems like you gotta um, come up from behind. So um, we are you know, every every chance we've had, um, every chance I've had to to win a stage and get playoff points, I've choked uh, and, and restarts are, uh, are second none compared to anybody else. And so. It's it's frustrating that I haven't gotten our team playoff points, but uh, it is what it is, and we just gotta work really hard. We gotta you know execute throughout all the stages and and see what in, what see what happens and, and where we end up. But uh, all in all, it's not gonna be you know done without a fight. But well, what have you taken in personally the most from this experience of being this far to advance in your career so far? Um, <clears throat> you know, for me, it's it's. Uh, it's honestly just another race. It's, Texas is just another weekend, a hot-ass weekend, that's for mm -hmm. sure. Um, but, you know, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel the pressure of, of being in the playoffs. Like, I, I, I take that back. I feel it when it's the last race of, you know, like it was a cutoff race at Daytona, right? Stress the hell out. I was good until I fired up the car at Bristol, you know? And, and it's like, man, I want to make it to the next round. I want to make it in the playoffs. But right now, it's fine. It's another race, it's another weekend. So whatever happens, you know, we just make sure we, we do everything right. No mistakes. Um, and it, there's that's no really different motto than if this was the fifth race of the season. If you're on what happens at uh, Texas here this weekend, do you think that'll come up in Tom Vega? Uh, those, those nerves? No, I'm, uh, I think where I've, I've gotten better is having no nerves uh, to Speedway stuff, unless it's cut off race Daytona. Uh, that's different. Um, so we we know we're, we're, that we're strong. We're, we know that we're strong in these next two races. I mean, hell, Robo, we finished eighth, I think. So um, we just we just got to do it. I did tell Booty, you know, when we made it into the playoffs. This was before the playoffs started. So when we make it in the playoffs, round two is going to be our hardest one. So we all got to roll our sleeves up and, and get to work. Why? So why? Then, why, I mean, why, why? Texas. I've just this place is. I've just never had the utmost confidence um, we all know how slick uh, especially now when you see a reflection of the of the walls on the racetrack on the exit of the corners <laughs> oh, good luck um, so I'm always kind of on the more shallow side of things and that'll put you seventh to twelfth now that's all we've had so um, Talladega's survived and then a row was just a road course race, so I don't need to go into that. Well, I think but people look at Talladega as better on a road course. There's still <laughs> too many on one schedule. I mean, I think people look at it, it, what you've done at, at Talladega and almost see that more as, a, as an opportunity, as, as more of a pitfall. And, and I guess I'd argue with, with the, what the Toyotas have done a mile and a half, so I know this is a different mile and a half. Mm -hmm. That this sets up well in sense. It's I, I don't know if I would see it as, as your hardest round, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, you, maybe I'm just overly optimistic. You guys are looking at from the outside in, right? Uh, looking at numbers and the visuals of it, but driving Texas is just okay for me. Uh, Talladega, yeah, we, we seem to find our way up front, but I haven't won a speedway race in two years, so uh, we got to uh, we have to just put it all together, and then the Glen is so much different than the Rebel. Yeah. So, um, again, Rebel, no mistakes. Um, if, 
you run off track at, at the Glen, you got a little bit of room. There is no off track at the road. So there's just racetrack and wall. So but but that house money that you were talking about, that's got to be a little bit comforting because you, you, you're yeah, here. Yeah, I don't want to take that as, a, you know, as we're rolling over, right? It's like, ah, we made it to round of 12. We're good. Hell no. You know, I'm a competitor. I love to compete. And so uh, you say that, but I think that's kind of like a, I don't know, a fallback option. It's screw house money. I got to go out and get it. Now I earn it. What's the biggest lesson you learned in that first round? <laughs> I think just working on um, uh, the mindsets throughout the races, you know, finally understanding, you know, this year races are long, don't count yourself out. But like Darlington, when I spun under the 22, you know, having better judgment, uh, things like that, that, you know, you can easily avoid, um, but you may get lost in translation over something. Um, so just thinking everything through a couple laps ahead of time. That was going to be one of the questions I asked. Your, the transition of your mental state, as far as you used to be very impulsive, and now you're more methodical in a race in a race car on the track. Do you notice that, or is that something you actually focus on, or does it just kind of come naturally now? Um, I'd say at the start of it, yeah, I, I was definitely noticing it and, and and putting forth the effort. I think now it kind of comes more secondhand, um, but according to some, I'm still mentally fragile, so you gotta. <laughs> Uh, no, I think just, just experience and see time and understanding how the races play out just makes it a little bit easier each uh, week to week. Did you see the meme this week that was like, first line's like, Bubba will never win a race, and it was like, Bubba will never win a race to finish in the green. It was like, Bubba will never make the playoffs, and it was like, Bubba will never make it out of the first round of the playoffs. Like, these things keep getting crossed off. But. Yeah, we're, um, we just keep out kicking the, the field goal, so they just keep moving it back, and that's fine. It pushes me to work even more, so uh, can't help darts, but can't help darts. What was the conversation last week with Michael after advancing? I mean, hell, he left. I didn't even see him. <laughs> I've seen the celebration after on Monday. I've seen him cheering, cheering on the box. Yeah. Never heard from him. No, he sent me a text. Uh, he was pumped. <laughs> <laughs> sent me a text. Does uh, Booty? It was, it was good. It was fun. Does Booty ever say anything about having him right over his shoulder? No, Booty loves it. He lives for it. Before his accident, he was a football guy, played football and loved sports and competing. And so having MJ there, I think it just adds fuel to the fire for him. It's One good. more. Last oh. Sunday, NASCAR announced that they're going to, that the Mexico Series is going to be joining you guys yeah. in the clash. So just how important is it to showcase those international series, given you guys don't do it often and that some of the prospects have come from the Mexico Series that come up into the Cup Series? Yeah, I think that's a, a, a massive platform for, for those guys. And um, I think it's really, really cool to uh, showcase um, for them, but also for the fans that, that come out to the track. So um, all around, all around, that's a good weekend for us.